Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hello and welcome. So today I'm going to be doing a, another after a very long time buy or not to buy. So if you haven't seen me do this before, it's not an original <laughs> idea by any means. It's basically I have a look at some of the up and coming new makeup releases and just have a chat about them if I'm going to buy them, if I'm not going to buy them. Um, just because there's so much new stuff coming out and a lot of it is coming up more towards Christmas. I don't have any Christmas releases in this one just because um, I don't think many have come out yet. I know it's only technically September but a lot of the brands tend to bring out like Christmas collections around this time but when I think more brands will do it I will film another one. I know it's been a while since I filmed this type of video. It's mainly because when I moved um, I haven't been able to like get my iPad kind of sorted and um, just get my whole brain around doing this kind of video but I have about seven products that I want to talk about today and the first one I am so excited I had to start off the video this is probably the one of the reasons why I'm making this type of video the new melt collection eyeshadow palette so I've, again I've got my iPad in front of me so I'll be adding up pictures and everything so this is the bad side zodiac collection these are mini eyeshadow palettes so we've got air fire water and earth um, if you guys know me if you've seen my videos before you might know what palette is going to draw to me more um, I'm just going to tell you it's the fire palette I am so damn excited for this collection um, I will probably see how much one of one of them is first and then maybe buy another one hopefully they'll come to Beauty Bay at a decent time because at this moment I'm still waiting for their bronzers to come on the Beauty Bay website they haven't actually come up on their website yet and I'm checking like every day and it's been almost a month I think since it's come out and it's not on the Beauty Bay website yet I'm impatient essentially but this palette is um, so four mini eyeshadow palettes with creamy mattes and metallic shimmers inspired by the negative traits of four elements of the zodiacs so I I'm not really into zodiacs that much I mean I'm a Scorpio when I tell people that they get a bit funny I don't give a shit like I am who I am I'm not based around my star sign or anything like that um, I know that I am I'm pretty sure I'm a water if you want to kind of go into that which is I have no idea what that means but when I saw this collection I was absolutely just excited the last palette that they came out with was the um, Gemini 2 palette which I do really like and before that was the butterflies palette which again I love I own both of those palettes and the I know melt are known for having quite inconsistent like quality when it comes to their makeup um, but I have enjoyed everything that I've had so far from them so when it comes to these four I think the other one that I might want to get is earth some of the shades are quite similar so you can tell in earth there's some yellow tones even though there should really be um, more greens because earth is obviously a very like green-esque type of color um, I think there's like one green shade which is a bit rubbish to be honest when you look at the fire one you understand more that it's more of a fire water obviously a lot of blues and the air is kind of like a more pinky purple and blue red tone so it's like a mixture um, obviously I'm going to be picking up one of these palettes so let me know if you'll pick up another one if you'll pick up one um, next I'm going to go in why is my iPad just all of a sudden frozen um, I'm going to talk about some celebrity skincare so this is male skincare so Brad Pitt is coming out with his own skincare and Travis Barker from Blink 182 who is now more known for being a Kardashian's husband which blows my mind because I am not a fan of Blink-182 but um, I've always just known Travis Barker to be like a punk and then like a new like pop punk like drummer and now he's just more known for his marriage which is very un rock and roll in my opinion but I just find it strange that they're bringing out skincare I know Brad Pitt has been really busy like not makeup wise like he's been um not makeup wise but as in like in general i think he's come out with some wine he's just coming out with a skincare 
He's doing some other random shit as well, which I find very strange because his movie career is not over. Like, Bullet Train just came out and I quite enjoyed it. He was pretty fun in it. Like, I think he's a great actor. Like, Fight Club is one of my favourite movies of all time and he's great in it. Um, I just find it really strange when these actors and, you know, other people come out with their skincare and makeup line. And I'm a little bit iffy by it and I mean I know what Scarlett Johansson just came out with a skincare line and I know people like you know Selena Gomez and like Fenty are really well known for their makeup as opposed to them as artists these days um, but there are some success stories there's are some really like head scratches again with Travis Barker like what what is he bringing to skincare I really don't know I mean I'm obviously not gonna buy it. it's not catered for me because I believe it is a male uh, skincare line by looking at like some of the descriptions um, if you are male and you like Travis Barker will you be picking up this collection <laughs> let me know or even a Brad Pitt fan again I find it so odd right so the next makeup item that is coming out is a new palette by, Fe um, by Huda Beauty not Fenty um, this is the empowered palette so this is quite a nice selection of shades it's a very kind of like neutral pink tone palette i don't own any any huda beauty eyeshadow palettes but i've heard that they are very good um by looking at it i mean i saw her her i think it was her tiktok she was speaking about like empowerment and women empowerment which is fantastic um i just think a lot of her palettes tend to have that same kind of vibe going on about it because this palette I'm pretty sure I've seen shades in some of her like mini palettes um, and some of the shades are like the one at the bottom in the middle where it's like a brown pinky tone like the mix of tones I find very like weird to look at because when you like if you swatch them they don't come out as like brown or pink they come out as like this merged tone which is I guess if you don't want that tone it's a bit odd um, but I mean her palettes always sell really well I think she has been like selling like amazing products non-stop I think one of the last products I tried was like one of her eyeliners and those did not budge they literally stayed on my eyes like all day and I think her mascara has done really well like I think her line in general is amazing so good job <laughs> next thing is oh i'm so pissed off about this because i really want to get it but smashbox are coming out with a collaboration with some horror characters and a lot of them are well i would say one two three out of the five are universal monsters and if you guys don't know me i'm a very big universal monsters fan i have a big collector of the figurines and the movies and just everything when it comes to like Bride of Frankenstein and Frankenstein's monster and Invisible Man and everything. If you haven't seen my um, my like toy collection video, check that out because you'll see how big and vast my collection is. Um, but Smashbox have come out with some lipsticks and some liquid eyeshadows, I believe, with the um, cover being. Universal Monsters, but Smashbox is not available in the UK anymore. They recently um, announced, well not recently, I think it's been about a month, they announced that they're not going to be shipping to the UK anymore, which is very annoying considering this collection is one that I would literally buy. So the, you know, the Frankenstein's Monster Lipstick is green. I would love to have gotten that. The um, Dracula one is red, which is very fitting. You've got Tiffany and Chucky. And then you've got Bride of Frankenstein, who is my favourite monster out of all of them, which is a deep red. And then you've got the kind of correlating shades a slight, slightly with the liquid eyeshadows. And I know I want to buy it just for the packaging, but knowing that I can't actually get it because they're not available in the UK is really frustrating. I'm going to see if I can, if the cutoff point is gone or anything like that, because it might be on the Smashbot website. And if I can order it, it may be getting one of the last things to get here before they cut off to the UK I will see um, if I do then obviously I'll do a video about it if not then I won't be able to um, obviously purchase them so 
Right, let's talk about the next thing. So Profusion have come out with a new Halloween collection and they are super duper cute. So this is the Rituals collection. And one thing I find really annoying about Profusion is that they have a collection that comes out in America, doesn't come out in the UK even though they have a big UK website. Um, their UK website does not have like any of their collaborations, which I find really annoying because they recently came out with the Jurassic Park collection that I think I spoke about in my last um, buy or not to buy video um, and every time I check the website they don't have any collaborations which is so odd but one thing that I really want to try in this collection is their blush stamps so they've got these heart stamps obviously you'll see the pictures that you can like tap on and then just blend out I would love to try that because I love blush and I love trying out variety of blushes um, and they have an eyeshadow palette I don't even know what it's called but it's a quite a nice selection of um, tones and a selection of like some shimmers because I believe on the side you've got like a highlighter and I think you've got two blushes um, which you might not use as blush, you might use as eyeshadows but then the colour selection is okay it kind of reminds me of BH Cosmetics because they have a lot of their kind of like matte tones that aren't very like insanely kind of they look very pigmented but they're slightly a bit chalky sometimes that's what they look like, I'm not saying that they are but they look like they might be a bit chalky but the colour selection is nice I love the whole aesthetic because I love Halloween and I love um, you know I think they're called planchettes when you use on a Ouija board don't ever do a Ouija board because no matter what you believe it's not a good idea to do it if you haven't seen The Exorcist <laughs> don't use a Ouija board but anyway this collection is quite interesting um, I like the look of it again I probably won't be able to try it because it might not come to the UK so I'm just mentioning it anyway. So Glamlight are coming out with a new collection. This is the Barbie collection. I know that there's a Barbie movie being made with uh, Margot Robbie and Ryan, um, not Ryan Reynolds, Ryan Gosling, which looks really weird. It doesn't look like it's gonna be right up my street, um, but we'll see. Um, but Glamlight are always coming out with some really interesting collaborations. I know they just did a Michaela one, like Pat 2 or whatever it's called. Um, but this is like, it reminds me of the Colourpop one because there's only so many tones that you can come out with when you think about Barbie or when you think about kind of like what type of eyeshadow you want to add to a collection that's like this. The colours are quite nice. I mean, you've got your pinks, you've got some purples and you've got your blues. So that kind of like, you know, covers a lot of ground when it comes to like Barbie anyway. When it came to the ColourPop collection, they had quite a lot of things, like they had lipsticks and they had highlighters and I think they had blushes and stuff. But this, I don't know if this is only a sh like a palette. I don't, I mean, I didn't even remember looking at what else was coming out. Um, but the palette is quite nice. I'm not gonna buy it because I've never really bought anything from Glamlight before. Um, but I've heard that the products are good. So the last thing I want to talk about is the Be Perfect Carnival XL uh, Remastered and All Stars palette. So this is already out, um, but I am tempted to get the small palette. Um, I really love Be Perfect. I love the Stacey Marie palette. But when thinking about this palette, do I need it? The answer is obviously no, because I don't need any of this makeup or the thousands of pieces of makeup that I already own. But looking at it, it's a really nice kind of like rainbow palette. And I know that the Carnival palette is one of their biggest sellers. Um, and the fact that they've had to remaster it, which is very interesting because, you know, of course it's one of their biggest sellers, but why would they want to remaster it? And what are they bringing different to the table than they did. I mean, I do have the first palette, which I which is like the two, like the two or three highlighters, and then the tones. I don't think that's called the Carnival palette. I just think that's like the Stacey Marie palette. I'm not sure, like the first one they came out with. And then I do have the Anecdote palette, which is absolutely amazing. I've like absolutely fallen in love with that palette. It's such a like um autumnal palette, which I actually have done a video for, which is probably coming out after this one. Um, but yeah, I really just, I'm intrigued to see what the difference is with 
the remastered and the original version. Um, a couple of shout outs for like new collection. I mean the Hocus Pocus collection too with um, Colourpop was really interesting. I didn't pick anything up because I just I don't need it and I and the fact is Colourpop is just getting really expensive for me to like buy and get it shipped over then I have to wait two weeks for it. Not that it's the end of the world but I'm kind of like I don't need it. Um, I did pick up the Makeup Revolution Beetlejuice collection which might be coming out after this one because I'm waiting for the delivery to turn up today so I'm going to film it after I kind of receive it and I'm sure I'll upload it maybe after this. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, let me know if you're looking forward to any of these collections or if you're not interested. Have I missed anything that I should probably talk about maybe in the next one? I don't know when I'm going to film the next one, but hopefully soon. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this style of video. Let me know if you want me to do more. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because I film and upload every time I get a chance to. Don't forget to follow me on any of my social medias because I'm always active on there. Hope you guys are doing very well. See you later. Bye.